We want him to, to be put in attention because of all the crimes that he did, all the innocent people he killed. He already lost his citizenship. He doesn't deserve to live freely here. This Nazi murderer is home today. He lives in Jackson Heights, Queens. We saw him before. He's living in the house. He's we're there. gonna be checking on him later on. But right now, we're gonna ask this coward, show your face! 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 Notice that he's not coming out. 60 years ago, this week, November 3rd and 4th, he was a camp guard and helped exterminate 6,000 people. Then he was a brave guy when he had a gun. Today, he's afraid of a bunch of teenage kids with signs exercising the democratic right to free speech. Department of Justice, the Department of Justice had the following to say about Palais. During a single nightmarish day in November of 1943, all of the more 6,000 prisoners in the Nazi camp that Palais had guarded were systematically butchered. By helping prevent the escape of those prisoners, Palais played an indispensable role in ensuring they met their tragic fate at the hands of the Nazis. He is a Nazi murderer. He's a Nazi murderer. No Palais in the USA! Palais in the USA! No Palais in the USA! No Palais in the USA! No Palais in the USA! My family on both sides, father and mother. No grandparents. I never had grandparents because they were murdered. They were murdered by people like Palish. He is a murderer. He is responsible for the murder of at least 6,000 Jews at a notorious Nazi camp. As far as I am concerned, and you know, he came to America, and when he filled out his application, he lied. He said he was a farmer. He worked. It didn't matter if you were 89. It didn't matter if you were 65. It didn't matter if you were 25. It didn't matter if you were six months old. If you were a Jew, you deserved to be murdered. And this man living in our beautiful New York, this man is living here freely, enjoying the air, the community, the protection of our government. He needs to stand trial for his war crimes. He is a war criminal. And we're going to apply pressure. We will visit the German consulate. Ultimately, if those countries don't want to put him on trial because they want to forget, we are going to ask the German government, put him on trial. Put him on trial! Put him on trial! Put him on trial! I don't want him on trial! Put him on trial! Put him on trial! Put him on trial! We have some survivors who are here and others on their way. People who went through hell on earth. You know something? I'm not sure the word hell is appropriate because I don't think that really describes what people went through, those who went through the Holocaust. I, I just want to say one other thing. As far as I'm concerned, I have no problem putting him on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That would give him a greater chance to survive than he gave the thousands of men, women, and children that he was involved in, in murdering them. Put him on a boat! You know what, let's just take a moment because we have a couple of survivors of the Holocaust. These are people who went through the hell, who saw their families murdered. We can only read about it. Thank you so much for coming. Please. There's chairs here. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we, have we must never forget the horrors of the Nazis, nor turn our backs on those seeking accountability. Please share my thanks for your efforts with the students at Rama Sifta. Sincerely, Joseph Crowley, Member of Congress. Thank you for the work you and your students are doing. Sincerely, Carolyn McCarthy. I commend those who continue to shine the light of public awareness on the Kristallnacht, on the Holocaust that set in motion, and for their continuing commitment to never forget. Nazi. Your neighbor is a Nazi! 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 Let's give him a chance, see what he has to say.
Show your face. 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 What a coward. What? Just amazing. This Nazi, that is, you know, all you got to do is check the name and everybody can find out that this guy doesn't belong in America. But you know what? This is America. He's got his freaking name on the door. He has his name. He's not ashamed. He doesn't care. He thinks he's safe. No one is going to bother him. We're going to forget about him. Look at this. His name is right here. Right here. What chutzpah, what audacity. You know, it's like having Adolf Hitler on the door. This is who I am. He's not ashamed. He's not embarrassed. He's not hiding it. It's there. It's open. Show your face. 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 What a coward. 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 Listen, she's telling me in Yiddish. They took her to the gas chamber. But it's always a weird thing, I'm not in And noch them, I said, I'm going to go to the house. But I don't mind. And noch them, I'm going to go to the house. It's always hard. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. She was saved at the last minute. They went into the gas chamber. They literally were saved at the very last minute. Yeah, that's the very last minute. Somebody came. No, they are not for the initial oh my stopping God. the gas. She's telling I that her the gas. experience. She was in where, Auschwitz where? with my mother, but she actually, they took a group of people to the gas chamber, but at the very last moment, for at the showers, very end, for showers, for showers before, right. You, you right. thought... Naked. They were naked. They were naked. They were naked. They were naked. They left them outside. They were outside often. Completely naked in the cold during the winter. The men came. They were working all day long in a rainy day. Without water and without food. No water, no food, nothing. Naked. We had to look good to be able to work. The men came. Everybody had to go through him. He examined you the top or the bottom. If you, if he told that you can still work, it's okay. Those people who he selected out in the middle of the night, there were drugs outside waiting. This Take people, you to gas chamber. Yeah, these people did not get back their clothes. What about trial? 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 Put him on trial! Put him on trial! Put him on trial! Put him on trial!